Hey everybody, what's going on? We are here with a timeless reading. Welcome to the channel. Okay, we're starting off with the Ten of Pentacles. I feel like there was another reading recently where we started off with that. Something could feel, I just get the feeling that there could be something going on that feels a little bit like you need to really tend to something emotionally or just like be present for yourself emotionally. Because I am seeing the King of Cups coming out and usually like when I see a court card come out, especially the kings and the queens, it's kind of like this is the type of energy that we need to embody within this moment. Seeing the Ten of Pentacles, it would, it would sort of indicate that there's something coming up that has to do with somebody's resources. It can be like finances, it can be home situation, it can be um, the like community that somebody's in or the people that they're closest with because Ten of Pentacles can also speak about like family and stuff like that and values um, and like wealth in general and abundance. So Ten of Pentacles usually would allude to like things being stable, but I feel this as being more of a reference of the things that you do have, like the things that you are in possession of and so when it comes to like your possessions and your finances, having the King of Cups come out may mean that something's going on that's connected with them that you may feel a little bit challenged right now emotionally. Because having King of Cups come out, it's sort of like needing to remain grounded through something and be like, how am I feeling and what's going on? And again, just being present to your emotions as you would for like somebody that you care for, right? But doing it for you. Now, I'm also seeing that somebody's coming through and I'm seeing them come through to talk to you. So it looks like this is going to be, they're like passing on some sort of information. I see it most of all like 10 of pentacles and king of cups just here energetically intuitively what i'm feeling off of this is sort of needing to remain level-headed or like cool calm and collected like in relation to like maybe your finances or something like that or like a living situation because again it has to do with your stability and that sort of thing so it's like anything within that sort of realm Ten of Pentacles sort of reminds me of like what the second house represents, some of what the second house represents. I'm seeing the star wanting to poke out here, Aquarius. You could be overwhelmed by information right now, some of you. I'm seeing you feel like Maybe there's a lot that you're opening yourself up to currently or you just need to sort of remain present amidst maybe something going on that's potentially overwhelming. Okay. I'm seeing you get answers about something or like have a conversation with somebody. Having Knight of Swords come out, it's like somebody having a conversation with you that's pretty much straight to the point because swords are generally like very direct. This is what's going on. This is what's happening. Just being very transparent with the communication or very to the point. And then I'm also seeing the eight of cups here. So whatever this is that you receive through this conversation, through this information, I it does feel like this is another person that's coming through. Whatever it is that you receive through this, having eight of cups 
kind of feels like now it's my time to maybe leave something or step away from something, which can mean too that, like I don't know if it directly has to do with this person or it's like a situation in general, but it's like the last time this person came through and said something to me, it just like made me realize that something within this is not working for me. Remember two energies can be reversed. Somebody could be coming through and saying that to you, yeah. I'm seeing, we have three of the four knights here. We have the knight of swords, we have the knight of pentacles, and we have the knight of cups as well. So this is lots of like information being ex exchanged, like going back and forth. There can be like offers being made or things being even negotiated. There can be like communication about one's vantage point with how they're feeling and what they're thinking and what's going on practically for them. But yeah, I, I do feel like something happens and it feels like a conversation that maybe confirmed something for you or it like gives you permission to... Eight of Cups is usually like we've been waiting sometimes to move on from something. So it can be like, now's my chance to go or like, now's my opening to do this thing. And it feels like it's about moving forward with something, which also means that you could be leaving something as well in order to like move forward for yourself. And then I'm also seeing this Knight of Pentacles up ahead. So it feels like something's going on over here that I'm seeing you sort of like transition into a different space. So you may be like receiving an offer to go elsewhere. Hmm. I'm seeing a conversation being had. This feels more like, like somebody may be presenting an opportunity to you. Because if this was definitely something where you were like, yeah, I'm gonna open that door and another person weren't attached to it, I don't think that the Knight of Pentacles would be coming out. I feel like the Knight of Pentacles is coming out in a way where it's somebody being like, hey, I'm offering you this thing, do you want it? It feels like that and like not any more detail about what that is. And it also looks too like there's a conversation about that. Like this person putting this thing on the table and being like, hey, are you interested? And then it looks like you're sharing like candidly how you feel with this person about this thing that they're like bringing up to you or offering to you. But it, it does look like you were in one situation before and then left that situation to go do something else. And you could have even been waiting for like some type of word in order to do this. Cause I feel like you were waiting for something here. That's the vibe that I'm getting from this King of Cups over here. It feels like you could have been sort of like trying to remain calm within a situation. You got what you needed as far as something. You needed something and it was contained within the communication. And then I'm seeing that sort of be, now I can move and that happening. And then I'm seeing there be like an offer that it feels even like you're going towards, like how this Eight of Cups could be potentially like moving towards something that someone's presenting to you. And then Knight of Pentacles and then having Knight of Cups here too, it feels like there's a back and forth with you and this person. So just like a lot of, a lot of interacting that's happening. And it looks like there are multiple people involved in this as well. I'm seeing the Emperor on the bottom of the deck. Yeah, I, I don't know why because like I like to keep these general but for, for someone specifically, I'm getting that this is about a living situation but just know that that's just one of many examples, okay? But I'm getting someone specific energy where they're like talking to somebody about a living situation here because I'm seeing there be like a discussion potentially about like finances or, um, or like housing, something like that.
So it feels like the door has been open to have that discussion. Oh, also too, having the King of Cups here and then having the Knight of Swords, this can mean that somebody's coming through. This may not be the case for everybody, okay? But just something that's coming through now. Having the King of Cups and then having the Knight of Swords can be that the way that somebody communicates with you because as much as the knight of swords is like good that they get to the point so it's like okay we can have a clear conversation knight of swords can sometimes be a little bit i don't know if robotic is the right word but it can also it can almost be like too direct sometimes where it's like you could have sugarcoated that a little bit or like why do you have to say it like that it can sort of be like sometimes it can come across as being a little bit harsh it's one of those times where somebody may say something and they're like what it's the truth but it's like i feel like that was kind of inconsiderate the way that you said that so i also get the vibe from that too that maybe the way that they present information to you or talk to you you sort of have to like not give them a reaction with the king of cups that would be you being in a space where you're like i'm gonna deal with this later or like I'm um, sorry I'm hearing music bumping outside um yeah you just like having having a having an interaction with somebody and being like okay like that's how they're speaking to me like I'm not going to react to it like maybe I'll process this later or I don't need to take on the projected energy of this this is where they are and I don't need to take that personally however it is that you deal with this but I'm seeing it most of all be like you sort of being centered and grounded and present and not being reactive. Can you guys hear the music? I don't know where, hmm, it's coming from outside. Okay, yeah, okay. Conversation is happening here about where one is going and like what they're getting involved in here and sort of where they want to go. Knight of Cups and Page of Wands is sort of feeling like, when I think about it, I feel pulled in this direction. Um, but it because I'm not seeing like pentacles here, this is more so feeling like like talking about a dream or a desire or a fantasy or a preference or something like that, that somebody may not be acting on it right now or may not be doing something about it or the opportunity may not be here yet or it could just be like, I think that I'm gonna move this way. Cause I feel this, I feel this Knight of Cups energy sort of be like a brainstorming or like a thought space that one may be in about where they're feeling it's like right for them to go in the direction of something that they feel connected with but but it feels like a thought right now i don't know if this is necessarily like physically happening but it's it's happening sort of energetically it's like a trail that's being followed even Okay, for somebody out there, I'm definitely getting the vibe that somebody comes through and like the way that they say something, there's just like this feeling that you get where I'm almost seeing you be like, I don't wanna deal with it. Something like that. Cause I feel even like this is helping you make up your mind about like what you're doing and where you're going. Almost like maybe if this other person had like worded things differently or presented differently, it would have potentially been maybe a different situation or unfolded differently. But I almost get the vibe of like something coming up and you sort of catching wind of the way that you feel and then like moving. So I do get the sense that you're like really remaining in touch with yourself as you're moving through this and like really checking in it seems.
It does do look like once this decision is made mentally, feels like then you may be doing something with what's being presented to you. So that thing that this person put on the table and is like, hey, are you interested? I'm seeing you're gonna be doing something about that, like taking action with that. So it seems like it falls into now is the time to be doing something. I'm hearing the word pendulum. Looking at the page of wands. I feel like no more cards want to come out. Let's let's see what we have here. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Mm. Conversation happening about material things. I'm seeing there definitely be like a chat going on about where one is feeling called. And then I'm seeing, it's almost like someone gets to a point and they're like, I think that I might go in this direction. And then I'm seeing you get like more information about that or like more background about that or just like something that's useful about like this choice that's a potential here of like, I'm feeling moved in this direction, but I like don't have that much information about it or I need to, I need this, this, and this to fall into place, and then I'm seeing that happen. And then with this page of cups here, it feels sort of like after you receive this, you sort of know where you stand. And then that's when I'm seeing you get to a point where the Eight of Cups is here. And just in the most general way, Eight of Cups is about us finding ourselves in a situation where we're like, this isn't working for me anymore. I don't feel like I'm meant to be doing this anymore. I really feel like my time is up here and then moving forward. And so I'm seeing it be sort of on you to take action then at that point, once you get to this point where you know where you stand with things. So then it looks like that's what's going to happen. And it seems too that when you do that, I'm almost seeing this thing happen where it's like you feel like in some ways you're sort of taking back control or that you're in control now maybe in a way that you weren't feeling before because having eight of cups lead into the king of wands it can feel like before maybe i didn't feel like i was running things the way that i wanted to and now i feel like i'm the one making decisions and that this is up to me and that i'm the one responsible and that i'm taking action now and it's sort of like I'm seeing it being, being an empowering thing for you, okay? And then I'm seeing that it looks like something that, again, is on the table. You're gonna be doing something about that, but then having two of swords on the bottom of the deck, I don't know what you're gonna do with this. I don't know if you're gonna be like, yeah, I want that thing that's on the table. No, I'm not interested in that, but regardless, you're gonna do something with it. So it seems like you're gonna like have that conversation or give that answer, or, like do something here. So that's what I'm seeing. I'm not seeing any zodiacs, okay? All right, my friends, we're gonna leave the reading here. I would like to thank everyone for connecting. Thank you for tuning in. I'm wishing everybody love and light and healing, and I hope to catch you guys next time.